All right, guys, I know that I said I'm tired and I am. However, considering what kind of content we're going to have now, I'm sure you all will like it very much. So let's see how this rematch is going to go quite badly or quite well. Let's go 92 here. I definitely have not been expecting to, to stream again so quickly. But you have to give the viewers what they want. And everyone wants to see the match against Hans Lehmann. Let's go knight to take take. I could have stopped him from going a3 by going a3 myself. Okay, this seems like a weird move because now I get my knight to g5. Still, maybe it's not that bad. Do I need d3? Probably yes. Maybe I need the queen on f4 too. Let's let's try that. Let's bring the queen to f4, then maybe knight g5. Knight g5 with queen f3 could also be a threat. I, I don't understand his play at all, honestly. Um, with rook d7. But okay, probably that's because I'm a bad player. I mean, I don't want to make this move. I want to break through with d4, but I'm not sure how to do it. So I'll try to bring the rook to e3 to so hit the e6 pawn. Now I might really need to play a3. Probably, I'm not sure if I want it. So let's try to create a, first, a threat first. So if b4, then maybe rook e3. Here I will attack the h5 pawn first. And now if rook e3 he'll go e5. Great. Um, okay, let him play it if he wants to. I'll take and go queen f4. He doesn't want to. Interesting. Okay, we'll just go knight a5 next. I don't want queen f4. I'm not sure if I have a choice. At least the g file will open and I'll be able to go rook g3, rook g1. Okay, five, take. Last time when we played this match, I haven't been able to win any single game, I think. Let's see if I do better in this one. Trying to dislodge the knight. It's probably equal now. Maybe. Maybe black's a bit more active. Should be equal. Probably won't be free to. Okay, now I don't want. Now I want to block things. The rook on f4 could be wrongly placed. Let's try to... Yeah, I was wrong. I wanted to create a weakness for him. Okay, 
Now I'll just get flagged as in as in most most games. <clears throat> yeah, not much I can do there. Yeah, I'm already back. I mean, you guys want uh, I'm tired. I'm tired, but you guys always want this content. Um you always want me to play against Hans. And that the first video the first video was very popular of me playing against him, so let's see. Let's see if I can win any single game this time. Last time I was unable. Let's say I didn't win any single game any single game and I lost many. Let's let's see if it gets better today. I'll try to go here and here so that after d4 I have bishop a6, that's why he goes d3. Um Okay, how to develop my pieces now? Maybe I will be forced to play f6, which I don't really want. Let's go here. If knight d6, so then knight d5 will be a threat. So. Yeah, one can't refuse to play Hans, definitely not. Everyone wants this content, come on. Okay, let's... I don't know if h6 is right. Okay, maybe f6. No, f6 is wrong. f6 is wrong, I didn't see something very... Something very trivial. I'm sure he'll see it though, but I won't say what it is. Okay, he could have taken gun knight c7. Very surprised he didn't do that. But yeah, I often can't understand the moves he's making very often. Here I was, yeah, because of this, I was probably supposed to take to take on e5 first. Had I taken on e5 first, it would the position would probably be quite good. Now it's not very good. Can take. He has way more counterplay for this uh, for this pawn than he should. But it's all my fault. Didn't have to allow it. Now he can also take d5. <laughs> yeah, of course it's a content gambit. And of course I'll lose a bunch of points. <laughs> I probably have the worst score on chess.com against Hans Niemann and against that... How is that guy called who is supposedly the big prodigy? He's like seven or eight years old. Yeah. He spotted this amazingly well, of course. The brilliancy that he has, uh, that he can do this. Really? F3? That works? Yeah, I suppose it works. King g2. Suppose this is the only move to not lose on the spot because uh, queen c2, king h3, queen f5, there would be g4.
let's keep going. Uh, yeah, nice mate, nice mate. Uh, and he doesn't want to play anymore. Very interesting. Okay, here I had a good position, but I forgot about... Okay, the, the whole opening is not very good for me. Of course, he didn't he didn't see EF and knight c7, but here I should just take here first, and they probably have a good position. After takes, takes, there should be 5AB and then knight d6. But I, I did it in the wrong move order. I did it in the wrong move order. And then I'm just lost, probably. And this was extremely beautiful to understand queen e5, rook, rook, e6, rook f6, queen e6. So. I think it was basically a flawless game. Uh, I think it was basically a flawless game. We will, we will find out now. Yeah, all losses continues, but that's like, uh, that's like... Uh, normal uh if somebody plays better than you like i couldn't make hazard tales of the play and suddenly i was lost uh, suddenly i was lost after uh, yeah but in the rook end the rook end game was was of course that drawn until until this But okay, never mind. Anyway, we know that we know that uh, we know that uh, Hans is too strong. Okay, let's. I mean, I don't want to end the stream just yet when I started it, so I'll j I'll play. Uh, I'll just put a different title. <laughs> How did you win against Hans, by the way? For me, that's Mission Impossible. Yeah, you've never lost to Hans? I mean, I haven't ever won a single game against him, so... No, I won one. I won one in 10 moves because he... Because he... Plundered a piece in one... In one move. Is this better for... With the bigger board, maybe? Okay, six. I mean, I've given knight a free in the course, so might as well play it. You beat him when he first got to Chester to come after his ban. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Play Baron checkmate. Ah, the, me and my opponent's time you can't see. Okay, just second then. Let's cancel. Wait, if I refresh, it will be it would be the same. How did I? Wait, how do I get it back? How, how do I get it back? Do I have to? How do I get it back? Actually, okay, just one second. Then, um, Bear should be bear. I, I hope, sincerely hope. Um, okay, let's go a4. Stop b5. It has a4 has both advantages and disadvantages. It weakens the b3 square, but it's not allowing b5, and this knight should remain passive if I play it correctly. I hope. Let's play rook c1. No, why did they go rook c1? That was such a stupid move. Mm. 
You first need to get a bad position and then you strike when he blunders. Yeah, for me that's an enigma. Uh, only only against him and against that uh, Faustin Aura, I have never won a single game on chess.com. And they always I, they always crush me one way or another. I want e5 here. But yeah, only against those two. Against everyone else I won a game. At least, at least one. No, I mean at least several games. Only against, only against these two players, I have never won anything. Hmm. Okay, main opponent wants knight a five probably in the future. I need to break through with e five sooner or later. He will go knight a five. I'll go bishop g three and f four. I wait f four bishop a four rook a one knight b three. Okay, I'll defend stuff. I'm not sure if I have to or not, but maybe I can go rook fb1 and knight b3 also. Because when I get rid of the knight, b7 pawn will be weak and can also can also play it like this. Yeah, this is probably a good move. We'll go here so that they can take and double immediately. Next move. Even if bishop a4 comes, it should be good. Mm. I still have some more time before I have to do that. Okay, now h4, I think. Because then I get, it will be easier with his broken structure to get in e5. Okay, let's go f4. I'm not sure if it's good. But I have to be fast now too. Here. And I did too. Now I think the pawn falls. I can take it. Do I need knight b3? Probably. I can't really take this. No, why did I do that? I'm not sure if bishop f6 was working. Maybe it was. But okay. Uh, considering I'm not playing Hans, I won the game. Let's play c6. Hmm. Maybe b5. I don't want to play bishop g7 because with he already showed his intentions. He already showed his intentions. Uh, of playing bishop h6 very clearly. Let's go bishop h6. If e4, then I will take and take e4, I think. And also, I probably don't need the bishop on this diagonal anyway. Okay, sooner or later I'll have to play bishop h6 um, to, to finish my development. And this I'll take. Yeah, e f3, he has this bishop f1 back, so I have to take like this. Um, Let's go here. Yeah, of course, of course, he would have won that as black against me at least. I don't know how people can win against him at all. It's an enigma. How do I create counterplay? Maybe like this. Even though I'm not sure it's, if it's good at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not good. But I have to push something in front of his king. 
Otherwise, I'm just gonna get steamrolled. And play e5, though. It's probably quite bad. When I say probably, I mean definitely. Yeah, Hans is, Hans is too good. Again, to me, for me at least. You guys can win against him, but I can't. At least one of the 2700 can win. I, I don't know if you other guys are, can also beat him. Someday you'll have to teach me. Wait, can I take and take e5? Then he has uh, knight c5. That's a problem. What do I do then? E6 looks so dumb. But I need to develop this knight sooner or later and to stop his e6. He will take this pawn now. But I think my position was worse than it is right now. <laughs> if I'd had to if I'd have to guess, I'd say that. My time is of course bad. My time management, I should say. But there are still chances to survive. Probably not too big of a chance to survive, especially because knight c6, rook c7, he has 98 chuck. Maybe I didn't win because of who my opponent was, maybe I won because he gave me some time advantage at the beginning. Knight d3, king d2, I wouldn't have anything there. Okay, this maybe gives me some chance to survive. One can only hope. Because I have more, a more active king, so... I'm probably, probably still losing, at least it's not clear cut. And if I can get, if I can get counterplay on this side of the board, maybe I'll have chances, but not, not really, it's, it's lost. It's, I'm just way too slow. Because I have to take this one and then... But the way he's playing it, I'm not 100% sure then. Many things happened in that game. Mm. Miss mate in one and then you strike, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he on his queen. Okay, I'm slow. Still, I'm winning the match considering I'm not playing against Hans. And yeah, this line is not so... It's not great. 
still playable though. I don't know exactly how to react against it. But I'm bluffing. Maybe we can make some bluffs work. C5 or D5. I'm trying to think a bit and not succeeding. How dangerous is the attack if I take H4? Probably it's not that dangerous, but let's play C5 anyway. To dislodge the bishop from here. Sacrificing a full bishop. I will take it. I don't believe any of this, honestly. Maybe he's tilted and just trying to play quickly. That would be more likely. I need the bishop on f4 and on g3, I think, so I'll play queen d2. It's sure because I lost on time. <laughs> And there is no mating picture. Okay, let's go here. It was probably not possible to play knight e5 because of queen g2, king g2. No, because of knight e5. Then uh, bishop d5, bishop d5, check, mate. So we'll go rook c1 first. Okay, he does this anyway. Knight h4 is a move now. Or knight one. I mean, I don't know. Let's go here. This king is safer than mine for now. It's sort of a problem. B5. I'm almost blundering mates in one. And I'm so slow, so slow. He actually got everything he wanted from this attack. Yeah, it's different than Leechas. The rules are different on Chazard Common and Leechas. Yeah, but we don't get content. Uh... Or Hans games, that's the problem. Okay, let's try to open things, open everything up here. Should have gone b5 first, probably. I messed I messed up the position really, really badly. It was quite good, it was very good before. I was unable to take rook c3. Okay, never mind. Probably bad for me. Let's see. Can't go there. <laughs> Uh, why did I blunder a full knight? 
Uh, thank you very much, Jonas Rudd, for raiding with a party of of eight. Um, hope you had a great stream. Okay, I, I have to play faster, and then everything will be fine. Just not, just not be as slow as I was in this game, and things will be fine. Anyway, I won't play too much, considering there is no Hans content. Let's go here. Curious if he'll play with f5 or with f3. Plays with f5. This looks like complete garbage, but I'll have to prove it. I mean, as we said, I just have to play faster, and then everything will be good. Yeah, he's playing junk openings, but this time he, he got punished. Yeah, he's an iron. Yeah, but just, you don't play like this. Come on, a free square is just too vital to... to to give up like that. Here he could have played knight d2 and it's not over game over on the spot, but it's game over to pawns up with uh, with more active pieces. Um okay maybe one or two more yeah. I don't know let's see if there are open challenges. Mm, okay there is some twenty seven hundred And probably you can fire him. You can try. Um, all right. Um, D four time. C four. By the way, if you have opening requests for this last couple of games, uh, let me know. Let me know in the chat. Full screen? What do you mean full screen? You want me to play in full, like with this focus mod or, or what? Or is it about me not not having a well well designed uh, well designed stream stream appearance? But hey, I'm a new streamer, you'll forgive me for that. I hope. I don't think I want to learn my h5, but he'll go queen e8 if I do this. Okay, let's go h3. I don't really like the way it looks, but with him not having the dark squared bishop, shouldn't be that bad. Queen h4, uh, I have queen f2. f4, I didn't think it was that concerning. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Suppose queen f2 anyway. Should I take or should I go d5? Both moves seem logical in their own way, but okay, let's take him to knight c3. I'll definitely need to long castle and not short castle here, and I'll need to bring, bring this bishop into play with some bishop g1, bishop d4 in the future. Okay, he wants some knight g3. Let's put the king back, play prophylactic. This is a lazy move. I didn't calculate anything. I just played the move. Play. Um, Ratty king's Indian attack? Okay. Catalan, Coca-Cola, Gambit. That's, that's too many. Um... Okay, let's go to g1 here. 
I can take it late next move if I want. And it's highly unlikely that he wants to take on f1. Although maybe, but I don't really believe in that. Probably it's time to go knight, g5, knight d5 now and take with the c pawn. I want to create a weakness um, on c7, which hopefully I'll be able to exploit in the future. Now my plan will be put the bishop on some b5 or a6, go rook c1, triple on the c file and take the pawn on c7. And that's basically my uh, my plan for this game. And the knights on g3, uh, the knight on g3 should remain stupid, I think, if I can put the rooks on the c file. I don't have to take it. And bishop g1 in the future could be... And also bishop g3 could be good, but I don't really want to take on g3, because after fg, the knight will be able to come to f4. Mm. Okay, I don't think knight e4 is a problem. can try it, but I just don't believe this at all. I don't know what's so good about it. Let's go rook f1. Trying to take the pawn. Very simple move. Weakening his king. Okay, take. Now what? Maybe bishop g1 so that I can put the bishop on d4 in a move or two. Maybe after rook d1. Then I have ideas with rook h1, rook h7 too. Queen g6, queen f5, I'll go here. Yeah, I'll go here. He's still pinned. To go here, try to attack on h7. And that one I think I should take and go here. Huh. How to continue the attack? Bishop c4, bishop d5 seems to be making some sense. Have to be careful to not lose on time. Don't have anything concrete just yet. Okay, is that a blunder? Maybe it is. Check. No, it's not really a blunder, is it? Okay, let's go here then. All right, that was a win. How old was I when I started with chess? I was, I mean, my first tournament was when I was five or what? Yeah, he is muddying the waters in this, indeed. But uh, it's highly unlikely that 94 stuff can work. It's a positional sacrifice, but not... Like, my king is completely safe. I have the two bishops. And he does get three pawns, but his king is unsafe. and um, Just wasn't able to work like that. Okay, the opening suggestions you gave me were when I was white. With black, I can't really do any of them. I'll go long castles. This is a typical idea in this French uh, structure to just give up the f6 pawn. Okay, here h2 is also hanging, but they just want to open up files. Okay, this is very weird to give up a pawn and continue playing like nothing happened. Maybe I even have bishop d4 and bishop b5. 
and take an exchange. Maybe there was something stronger, but what's wrong with this? I grab an, I grab an exchange and my king should be safe. On b8, unless he plays queen a7, but even then my queen will cover it. Seems like a very good position, just... Like Hikaru would say, we're not copying Hikaru here. We're playing our own chess. Um, let's go d4. No, uh, this is time for a Catalan. Can't play the Catalan, unfortunately. I really wanted to, that was the first suggestion, I, I think, but I can't really do it against the King's Indian. Against the King's Indian, I'm going to advertise my chessable course again. It's um, It could be on discount now, so go ahead and buy it. The link is in my profile description. But every time I have this position over the board, on the board in Blitz games, I always advertise the course. Like h3 bishop e3. You know it from Title Tuesdays. Okay, rook d1, e4 he goes. Yeah, I'll go c5 now. If dc, I'll take an f6. So that's all normal. Knight d7 is the, is the main move. He's doing is also playable. I don't know how good it is. Okay, maybe rook e1. Kind of hard to say. Okay, let's go rookie one. That's maybe a lazy move. Maybe I should have tried to think a bit more where my pieces belong now. And also, a3 was a playable move. I think I should. No, wait, now bishop b4 is hanging. Let's not blunder stuff. Bishop aware. I don't want to put it on f3, but maybe it's best. No, I'll play queen d2, I think. Knight d2 was wrong. Queen d2 was wrong. Forgot about something. I forgot that knight e4, knight e4, queen d2, knight d2 doesn't win a piece because of bishop d4. So knight e4, I'll have to take on e4 and queen d2. Play rook d2, bishop, bishop e4, bishop g7, and take d6, and play a very equal position. It was not my idea, of course. Yeah. I don't have anything here. Maybe he's the one who is somewhat better. Because of the rook on the c file. Of course I advertise it. I have to advertise it. The, my profits are down from the course. Yeah, I made a course for Chessable. The link is in my profile on chess.com. Probably Twitch too. Okay, he goes there. I don't really like the way he's played this. Hmm. Go here. Bishop f3 with rook b6 was uh, was another possible possibility. But I'm counting on rook c2, bishop a4, rook b2, bishop b3, and I'm hoping that... Okay, bishop c2 is not possible due to rook d2. And otherwise I'll get in, I think... Okay, this is possible. Should be better for me with both rook b6 and bishop b6. Yeah, it's actually not nearly as much as I thought it would be, but I'll go here anyway. My rook is just more active here on b6, and the backward pawn on b7 is easier to attack than my pawn on, uh, on b3. But it's still draw, because takes takes rook d8 is a problem, and uh, after you take b7, he can go rook d2, rook f1. Okay, he does something completely different. T4. 
it's actually a very similar idea. Can't do much it's a problem. Rook f1 and then rook a3 and the position is drawn unfortunately. Yeah, nothing I can do. Okay, this is going to be the final one. Yeah, everybody can make adjustable bookers. Just getting in touch with them. Hello, Inkmasa. Okay, uh, with black we didn't have opening requests as far as I remember. And this is, this is the last game until the bullet brawl or until tomorrow. I'll play my double fin keto stuff. I'll play my double fin keto stuff against the, the London. Let's go a5. It's better than a6 usually. Hmm. Rook say they want queen e7 and d5. Knight e4 is always a move, of course. Queen e7 is uh, more flexible, maybe. Because I can also go knight e4, I can go e5 even next. e5 is what I played against that guy on title Tuesday. In this big one where I played Nepo, Nepo, uh, Duda, and Fabi. This I played in the last game, had a great position. It failed to win in the end. Should I keep the pieces on the board? I don't know. I'm somehow attracted to this, but maybe it's maybe it's bad. With knight d5, my point is that after c4, I'll always have knight b4, and otherwise I'll expand with f5. Who knows if it's any good? Maybe he has some knight c4, knight d6 trickery. Did do we ever play the Dutch? If you go to my chess. Uh, if you go to my uh, chess base stats, you will see that with both white and black, Dutch is the opening which I have the best score in. I have like 10 out of 12 with both colors. And now the trick is, of course, I never played it over the board, but online I've played it in quite a lot of title Tuesday games and, uh, and so on. It's not that I don't know anything about the opening, I just don't think the opening itself is too good, so I don't use it over the board. Bishop c4. I mean, it looks weird to play a move like that. I think the knight belongs there. Not the bishop. I'll play a5, knight of 6, and the pin I don't care with queen b3, I'll just defend with knight of 6. Um, or queen f7, but not queen f7. Knight f6 and king h8 next. It shouldn't be, the pin should not be too much. Oh, wait, unless he had queen b3 followed by, by b4. By g4, trying to go g5. I don't know. It's less important right now. Okay, that pawn on a5 will be weak. Let's go king h8, threaten c3. <clears throat> I'm, oh no, wait, I'm not threatening c3. Knight is, cover the knight is covering c3. Huh. I shouldn't be missing things like that. Okay, let's go knight b6. If he takes on d5 and on a5, well, at least I'll go rook a8 and uh, the pawn is weak. Basically, this London bishop, which is supposed to be a good piece in the London, in this structure is always hitting a wall of pawns. So that's why I like to play this quite a lot. Okay, um, I think I should take c4. Who knows? Let's take b7. A very, very tactical line. Um, so rook b8, what is he going to play? Queen b3 or queen e2? Queen b3, there is, there is not knight d2. It's knight d3. Okay, no idea what's going on here. This looks very interesting, by the way. Queen d7 and queen c6 after queen b3, and 
after queen b3 or queen e2 because then oh no wait that's actually dumb i just realized that after queen b3 queen c6 he has knight a7 against this also he has knight a7 the whole then everything i just said makes zero sense and my move is bad I mean, I don't want to play knight a8, even though it might have been the best move in that position. Now it's going to be a hard, a hard struggle to survive. They probably won't survive. Position is quite bad. Now I'm getting some contraplane. I don't know how much to. Yeah, I didn't deserve to win this one, but uh, I reacted better with little time. Um, give him the lounge special? What's that, Bapin? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Dutch is very... I mean, it's not objectively all that great, but if you know well, like Nakamura and Kamsky know what they're doing quite well in the Dutch, so they have enormous experience playing it. So... Definitely they're the ones whose whose games should be checked if you want to play the Dutch. <laughs> Dutch is best for over the board farming. I don't think I'll ever try the Dutch over the board. My bishop also does hit the wall from g7, but it has more potential if he ever goes for c4, c5. So I mean it's not a refutation of the London, it's a normal playable position. Uh, no, I won't play the London. Why not c6 when? I, but I won't play London only because I said this is the last game and it's not like... This is not Hikari's channel, so it's not one more or one more. I really have to... I will really have to go now. Um, but, w okay, so... Free, am free Amil? Or... I don't know how to pronounce it. When c6? Uh, Bone, Bullet Brawl... I'm not sure if I'll play on stream. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't decided yet because I already streamed tactics today. It will be on YouTube. Uh, it Tactics will be on YouTube uh, later today. So feel free to check it out and subscribe. Um, yeah. About move 2021. Okay, let's see. So, what I was worried about with c6 is that he takes this pawn, because then the bishop attacks it with this, with all of this. Move 20 or 21. Uh, same thing here with knight to d6. That was a problem. Alright. Uh, yeah, I played against Carlsen. I have a much better score against Carlsen than against Neiman or that Faustino other guy, which I already mentioned. One more win away from twenty nine fifty three. Come on, I had last week. I had thirty twenty. So, um, all right. Let's raid you to someone, and see you maybe for a bullet roll today, maybe. Not today, but tomorrow, or day after tomorrow. It depends, but you always you can always check all the missing streams on my YouTube. Cheers, guys, and have a good day once again. Bye bye.